next, an update to a story we first told you about in May. A small winery in St. Helena sued Google for not removing negative reviews that contain crude language. Today, the two sides were in small claims court. KPI x Emily Turner outside the courthouse in Napa to explain what happened. Emily? Well, this business owner has been battling a troll as well as Google for more than six months. She says Google hasn't done anything to help her in that endeavor. And she says she's frustrated by that. By with hap what happened today in court, she's more disappointed by that. Do you have anything to say about the decision today? Small claims court rarely makes headlines, but when the smallest winery in Napa Valley takes on one of the biggest tech giants in the world, it does even if Google doesn't want to talk about it. No, if you have any questions, please contact press at google.com. They haven't responded. Artist and winemaker Layla Finucci sued Google for $5,000 in small claims court. She says the company isn't upholding its own policies by removing reviews of her business that she thinks are inappropriate, like this one that compares her wine to old genitalia. Everybody else gives me fives, but the troll gives me ones. And his goal is to bring me down. He calls me names, he personalizes it. Um, he's lewd, he's hateful. Uh, it, it, Google, we don't, we don't want to get involved. And Google didn't have to present a case today either. The judge upheld a motion to dismiss based on the FCC's indecency clause that doesn't hold sites like Google accountable for outside users' content. We can't even say what he said on television. How are you allowing that based on your indecency policy? Is this a violation of the terms of service? Does Google even care? None of those questions or our multiple emails to the press department at Google have been returned. But Finucci says she plans to return and tackle this case again. Google is um, morally bankrupt for setting up a system for reviews and not implementing and enforcing their own rules and guidelines. To me, that's morally bankrupt. According to small claims court rules, you can bring the same case back to small claims court up to five times. So this one has already gone down. Now there are four more chances for Ms. Venucci to bring this case back, and she says she will be doing just that. Reporting live in Napa, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.